Some Chicago public school students return to the classroom today for the first time since March, but that has not stopped the Chicago Teachers Union from opposing the reopening plan. WGN's Mike Lowe is live in Logan Square where some teachers reported to school, but uh, apparently did not go inside. Is that right, Mike? That's exactly right, Lourdes. Some teachers were required to come to the building here today, but they didn't feel safe going in, so they set up tables outside here on the sidewalk and taught remotely. Meantime, across the city, some 6,000 students reported to their classrooms for the first time in nearly a year. Or are you in school? I'm in school. For the first time in 10 months, Chicago preschoolers saw their teachers in person. Whose name is this? inside of their classrooms. Clearly thrilled to be back in the classroom. Today, Mayor Lori Lightfoot toured the halls of Dawes Elementary School, where she bumped elbows with the principal. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. And saw students spaced at desks outfitted with safety shields, preschoolers spread out by squares on the floor, and even some doing distance dancing on dots. Shake, shake, shake. All measures intended to stop the spread of the virus, as 6,000 preschoolers and special needs students returned to schools across the city. It is our city's first day of embarking on our path to returning to in-person learning. But the teachers union accused the mayor of sending mixed signals about the virus. Last night, Lightfoot extended the city's stay at home order through January 22nd, meaning it'll be in effect for 12 days after this first group of students has returned to in-person learning. We should stay at home. It's a stay at home advisory. To put it simply, these efforts are not enough. At Nathan Davis Elementary School in Brighton Park, teachers said every single student who had signed up to return to school eventually backed out. Our students' families are just not going to take that risk. But parents who have felt the strain of remote learning at home while working full time say the CPS plan is welcome. I've been teaching my son about how to take six feet, keep a mask on and all that in the middle to give him all the tools he needs to try to be successful in today's world. Some Chicago teachers set up tables outside in the cold January temperatures to teach remotely. It was a sign of protest over what they say are unreasonable demands from the district. They say more teachers than necessary are being told to report to their buildings. A teacher or principal who does not think that they have adequate PPE, how do they get that? Also today, city council members questioned CPS officials about safety and readiness. So our building managers are ready to take those requests. Uh, as needed uh, to make sure the schools are ready. The CPS CEO threatened not to pay teachers who don't show up for work, saying the phased plan is safe and will eventually bring everyone back to school. It is our mission in Chicago Public Schools to bring all of our students back over the course of the next few months. And the CPS plan calls to bring back all kindergartner through eighth grade students on February 1st. That's some 70,000 more students back in the classroom starting next month.